Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in last video, I showed you guys how to use function calling to end the call with function calling. And in most cases, the case will be much more complicated. For example, if you want to make appointments, you want the agent to say something like one moment while calling the function. And also after calling the function, you want to get back to the user saying, your appointments has been made. So in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to achieve those more complicated scenario. Firstly, let's use ChatGPT as a example. So in here, I define a function, basically make appointments, and the parameter is um, the message you are say while setting up the appointments, like one moment. Given that we have this history and a user says, I'd like to make appointments. And when we run this, the ChatGPT will basically return a function. Yeah, here like uh, the ChatGPT will return the function with the arguments basically saying right now is the time for you to call this function and please get back to me with the results. Also, it has the argument here, like the message um, that we can say, well, users are waiting. So after we receive this response in our, in our server, we will call the actual make appointments function to make appointments. And the next step, we'll feed back to the results back to the ChatGPT, so it will continue the discussion. So ChatGPT will have this format. You need to provide two actual information. So the one, it is the basically it is the response initially, the function definition with the call ID. It's pretty much like identical, including the ID type, function name, arguments. It's the same as this one. And the next one, it will be the results of your function. In this case, basically uh, the content will be the appointments has been made successfully. And we send back to the ChatGPT. And you can see the ChatGPT gets your updates and it will continue the response. Let us see how we can translate that into the code. So firstly, um, this, this is basically the delta between previously Anakov code and also the new code uh, with function calling doing much more complicated stuff. Firstly, we need to define the new functions here when we prepare the function. And secondly, once we receive the previous response, uh, like ChatGPT wants us to call the function to book appointments. So in here, we need to say something to the users, right? Like one moment, I'm right now booking appointments. So we grab the arguments from the message, um, basically this part, and we will send that to retail server. So basically right now the agents will say, sure, let me check availability for you. Um, but notice that we need to set content completely false. This basically means whether the conversation from AI has completed, in our case, it is not complete because later the agent may say like, um, yeah, your appointment has been made successfully. So this should be false. So we send this to retail server to say one moment. Um, in here, we will do actual function calling like a make appointments here. And the next step, we will feed back these contents to ChatGPT. So how to do that? We will call ourselves recursively. So basically we will store this as in as a parameter function call and a add a extra parameter to this function. So once we detect it's not empty, we know last time it is calling a function and we need to kind of convert this stuff to 
these kind of payloads. So as we can see here, um, we pass the function result here and it will prepare the prompts because it's not empty. We want to push this kind of new information. The first is the function definition and the second is our response to ChatGPT. Yeah, so given that we passed this, uh, ChatGPT will continue the discussion and basically the code will um, go through this again, basically we'll stream this kind of response back um, to the users. Yeah, so that's how we implement function calling in a more complicated scenario. Uh, hope that's useful. If it's not clear, feel free to reach out and let us know if you need support. Thanks.